Welcome. Today we're diving into a project that's as sweet as fun. Strawberry themed crafts. Whether you're looking to add fruity touch to your home decor or create adorable accessories, we got you covered. Hi, my name is Katie from Lady Red Crafting. Grab your craft supplies and let's get started on these berrylicious creations. Do you have leftover foam eggs from Easter? Well, you can transform those eggs into some adorable strawberries using some fabric and felt. Let me show you how. Craft starts out with a piece of fabric that's four and a half by four and a half. It doesn't have to be perfectly square, but approximately that size. And I'm using the really small foam eggs that I got from the Dollar Tree, but I know that they have multiple different sizes. So if you had bigger eggs, you could just use a bigger piece of fabric. Next, all we do is we wrap that fabric up and around the little egg. You want your fabric to be gathered at the bigger side of the egg. So you want the smaller piece where it tapers down to be hanging out as your strawberry. And then we're going to put the leaves around where the rubber band is. And to tie this together, I'm just using a little rubber band that I got from Walmart. Set that aside and grab our green felt. And I'm just going to unroll this and I have this little wood flower from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use it as a, just a little bit of an outline, a stencil, so that I have a way to cut out my leaves. And once I did this a few times, I actually just started freehanding this myself. This was a little bit big for the little strawberries that I had, but if I had a larger egg, I think this would have worked perfect. And for the first few strawberries, I did just kind of cut a hole like I am here by folding the felt in half and then sticking that over the top and hot gluing that onto my strawberry. And that worked okay. But then I ended up cutting a lot of the <laughs> felt and just doing like one long strip. And that worked a little bit better so I could get more layers on my strawberry. So this tip comes from Brenda from Rustic Lace DIYs. She had a video last year that did strawberries as well. And she showed us this tip with using some of your old picks that you have. And I know we all have them where we save the picks because we cut off all the flowers. And she just cut a piece of the green stem out and used it for her stem. So I thought, oh, this would be great for the strawberry as well. So yeah, thank you, Brenda. She's also linked in my description box below so you guys can check out her strawberry video. We take the pick and we just insert it into the top of the strawberry and it goes right into the foam nice and easy. Next, we just cut any of the excess fabric out around the top of the rubber band. Now I grab my hot glue and some felt and we're just going to go ahead and hot glue the felt around the top of the strawberry. And I just fill in more layers where I need them. And now we have our first little strawberry complete. I think this turns out so cute, but I do want to show you another method. So let's try this out. This one I'm going to use some white and polka dotted fabric and this fabric I did get at Dollar Tree. The last set of fabric I got at Ben Franklin. The main difference with this method is I'm starting out with the stem already in the foam egg. And you can do this with the pick but for this one, I'm using some wire jute twine that I got at Dollar Tree instead for my stem, which I think gives it more of a vine look. And now once we have all that fabric trimmed, we just go ahead and take our felt and we hot glue that around the top of our strawberry. And here is how this adorable strawberry turns out. I made so many of these. I thought these would be perfect for my tiered tray and I think that you'll love them as well. Let me know in the comments below what you think you would use these strawberries for to decorate in your house. So I bought this heart sign two or three years ago for Valentine's Day from Dollar Tree. And I've been slowly trying to use up all of the hearts in different crafts. And so for this one here, I'm taking the last three of the hearts and we're going to go ahead and use them in some strawberry crafts. There's a lot of different techniques to remove the paper from these uh, Dollar Tree signs. 
For me, I've just found it easier to wet them down lightly with a wet towel, and then I just use my Cricut scraper to scrape everything off. Now you totally don't have to use this sign. You could get some wood cutouts or cardboard cutout hearts and start with one of those instead. When our surface is ready, I'm going to take some painter's tape and I'm just going to add this onto a paintable surface. And I'm using some of my chalk paint by Waverly. I believe this is the lacquer uh, paint. I probably am pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry if I am, but um, it's just the red chalk paint that they have. And I did two layers of that paint over the top of the heart. Next, I'm going to try this new product out to me, Terrazzo, and it's a sealer and there's some flakes that you can buy from Folk Art. And I am going to go ahead and take the sealer and what the directions say to use is you put this on to your product wet and then once that is on there, you're going to sprinkle your little flakes over the top. And the flakes, they kind of remind me of like eggshell textures and they're really cute and colorful, but they also can crumble into smaller pieces if you have them in your hand. I'm just going to clean off the excess flakes and let this set aside to dry. Once this is dry, I go ahead and I use the same sealer and we're going to paint a nice coat over the top of the flakes. And this will seal everything in. This will take about 72 hours to completely cure, but it is dry to the touch in about 30 minutes. While this is drying, I grab another little piece of felt and we're taking one of the hearts that we haven't used yet and I'm going to draw the top part of the heart over the top of the felt but I'm also going to add a little stem in my drawing right in the center of our heart. Now we just cut everything out. And for the bottom, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out little triangles. I'd like to take a quick moment and tell you all about this fun playlist I'm a part of. This playlist is on the first of the month every month and Brenda and Amanda do an amazing job hosting this. This month, our theme is summer fruits, which is why we're doing strawberries. And I wanna say thank you to Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIYs and Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun for putting this on every month. Their links and the playlist is linked in the description box below. So please take some time and check out these wonderful creators and give them some love. Thank you. Now that our heart is dry, I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to paint that on the top part of my heart and taking the piece of felt, we'll just go ahead and attach that felt over the top and this will keep it nice and smooth. And I love how this is turning out for our sign. So I was thinking about it while I was making that little heart and I decided, you know what? I could make a bunch of strawberries with all of these other wood cutout hearts that I have in my stash. So I did do that. I made another four hearts that were smaller and these were some wood cutouts that I had from the Dollar Tree last year. And so to make all of these cute strawberries, I'm doing the exact same steps that I did for the first set of hearts but I'm just doing it on a smaller scale. These mini strawberries turned out so cute. Now that we got these mini strawberries made and the strawberry made, let's go ahead and start putting together our sign. And I found this fun wood palette from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to make a reversible sign. So for the first side of the sign, I'm going to take and I painted it with some chalk paint in the color white. And next, after that dried, I took some Mod Podge and I'm just going to go ahead and paint a coat of Mod Podge over the top of the paint. Now let's set that aside to dry and prep our napkin. To prep our napkin, I'm going to go ahead and just unfold it and remove the top layer of the napkin. And if you're wondering where I found this napkin, I found it at Home Goods, and they have a great selection of paper napkins. I'm going to lay this paper napkin over the top of our Mod Podge that is completely dry. Next, I'm gonna lay down a piece of parchment paper 
And using my iron, I just iron down the napkin to my board. And this iron heats up that Mod Podge so everything sticks very nice. Then I grab my zip sander, or you could use a sanding block, and I'm going to go ahead and sand in a downward motion to remove all of those excess napkins from the board. I wanted to seal in the napkin, so what I'm going to do is use some Mod Podge and just paint another coat of Mod Podge over the top of the napkin. That is dry, let's flip our sign over and we're going to start with the wood side of the sign. So I was using my Cricut earlier and I cut out a cute little sign saying that says sweetest berry in the patch. And we're just going to go ahead and transfer that onto our piece of wood. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, don't worry, you can do something with letters that you can get rub on transfers from the Dollar Tree. You can also use stickers or you can paint the words on or if you decide you can just add a bunch of strawberries and not even add a saying so it's completely up to you the sign is completely customizable so don't worry if you don't have a cricket and i thought that i needed a little bow to go with this sign so i'm just going to go ahead and just tie a quick little just normal shoelace bow using my twine here and this white and jute twine I did get from the Dollar Tree last year in the nautical section. And now I just use my hot glue and hot glue everything into place onto the sign. Now let's flip over our sign and complete the next side. So I wanna add a messy bow to this side of the sign and I'm taking four different types of ribbon here and they're each about four inches in length and I'm dovetailing each of them and there's three of each. And I'm using a small piece of pipe cleaner and about a third of the piece of the pipe cleaner. Next, I'm just going to stack my ribbon over the tops of each other. And there's no rhyme or reason on how you do it. It's a messy bow. You can do whatever you'd like. You can make a pattern. You can go in a different pattern. It doesn't matter. And I wanna say thank you to all of my current subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. I couldn't do this without you. And if you haven't subscribed yet and are enjoying this content, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks. So now that we have all of our ribbons stacked, I grab my little piece of pipe cleaner and set it down the center and flip over the ribbon. And then I'm going to attach my pipe cleaner on the back side and I'll flip it around and do it again and make sure that all of these ribbons are completely secured. And then I'll twist that around in the back and then try to hide that as best as I can. Now I want to cover that pipe cleaner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut another piece of that red checked ribbon and I'm just going to go ahead and lay that over the top of the pipe cleaner. And I'm just going to tie that on with a basic knot and dovetail the tails on that ribbon. Now all we need to do is fluff our bow. Let's go back to our board. I'm going to go ahead and set the ribbon on the board just to kind of space out where I want to put my stencil. And this is one of the self-adhesive stencils that I got from Amazon. And it's from the fall and it says, welcome to our patch. And I'm going to use my chalk paste in the color Iron Gate. And we're just going to go ahead and use the bottom portion of the stencil. And if you're interested in this stencil, I'll leave a link for it in my description box below. And when I pulled the stencil off, I realized I kind of cut off the top of the E. So I'm just using my chalk paste and I just fixed that before I went any further. And where the pumpkins were on the stencil, I want to put some cute little strawberries. And so I had mentioned earlier in the video that I did remake a few more of these little mini strawberries. And I did two smaller ones and one slightly bigger one. Now let's put the finishing touches on our sign. I'm using some hot glue to attach the strawberries and the bow.
And now our strawberry tastic sign is ready to hang. I just love how both sides of this sign turns out. What side do you like better? The welcome to our patch or sweetest berry in the patch? Let me know what you think in the comments below. a quick and easy strawberry that you can make. Let's start with our heart and some polka dot fabric. Next, we're going to flip over our fabric and using the heart, we're going to trace two hearts on the back side of the fabric. Next, I'm gonna cut out my two little hearts. Grab our heart and put it on a paintable surface. And I use a piece of painter's tape to keep everything into place. I'm using my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and we're just going to paint over the top of the heart. Once our paint is completely dry, I grab my Mod Podge in matte and I'm painting a coat of Mod Podge over the top as well. Next, we're just gonna lay that piece of fabric over the top of the heart and smooth everything out. Now repeat that on the other side of your heart. And once everything has completely dried, we're going to use our felt and make a little top for our strawberry. And I'm just taking some Mod Podge and we're just going to attach the felt over the top of the heart. That's how easy it is. Our cute little strawberry is ready for a tiered tray or you can attach a string and make this an ornament. As I browsed the Dollar Tree, I found this adorable wood fence. And we're starting with this piece and I'm putting this on a paintable surface. Fair warning, this does get a little bit messy so I am going to be using some disposable gloves with my antique wax from Waverly. You've seen my videos before. I've done this technique a few different times. Basically, I'm just taking the Waverly wax and I'm painting over the tops of the wood. Next, I take a baby wipe and I wipe everything clean. Now let's go ahead and grab our Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and we'll do a quick dry brush over the top of the whole entire piece. And to be consistent, I also did a dry brush over the back side of the piece as well. Let's set that aside to dry. While that's drying, let's grab our little heart and place it on a paintable surface. And using some Waverly chalk paint in the color red, I'm just going to go ahead and paint our little heart. Now once that paint is completely dry, I'm going to use this reusable stencil that I have from Amazon. It doesn't matter that it's from the fall because we're just going to use the welcome to the patch portion of the stencil. Grab my redesigned chalk paste in the color vintage lace and we're going to go ahead and just use that paint for the stencil. Once I remove this stencil, I want to let this dry completely. I'm really liking this new terrazzo sealer, so we're going to use this again on this project. I'm going to just paint over the whole entire heart using the terrazzo sealer. And while it is still wet, we're going to sprinkle over the terrazzo flakes around the words of the welcome to our patch. I think these flakes give it more of that strawberry look. But if you don't have these flakes, you could just paint some little dots instead for your strawberries, or you could just leave it red. Once everything is nice and dry, we're going to grab the sealer again and paint a nice coat over the top. And this will be dry to the touch in about 30 minutes, but the bottle does say that you need to wait 72 hours for it to completely cure. Once this is completely dry, I'm going to take my little felt top and using some Mod Podge, we're just going to attach that to the top of this little strawberry. Let's put this cute sign together. I'm going to hot glue this little berry onto our little fence post. And I like to put the hot glue directly on the fence post here, so that way there's no hot glue dripping from the back side on accident. And once that's secure, I'm just gonna add a little bit of hot glue to the top of our strawberry, and we will put a cute jute bow right on top. 
And that is our simple little welcome to our patch sign. This will be so cute as a door hanger or hanging on a tiered tray. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button below. And if you'd like to watch another craft video, click on this link. As always, craft more, stress less.